Hi guys, Coach Adrian here, um, the O-line coach for the High Axe Adam team this year. And we made this video to address a bunch of the questions that we're having around putting the pads together, especially on the lower half of the uniform. So we're going to go through what we've got, how to put it together. Okay, so there's uh, seven different pads that are going to go into the lower half of the uniform. Tailbone pad, hip pads, thigh pads, and knee pads. The majority of the pads are going to fit into this garment here called the girdle. You're looking at the back side of it now. This is what it looks like from the front. Every player will have been issued one of these nice Cham Pro girdles. And uh, what it's meant to do is uh, be worn over the underwear but under the pants and contain most of these pads. So I'm just going to show you guys how to put them in. What we used to have is we would lace our belt through our pants and also through all these pads and it's really confusing and complicated and so they've come up with these girdles which work wonders. So let me show you what to do with the girdle. Don't worry about the belt for now. Take your tailbone pad, that's this long one, and you're going to put it into the back of your girdle right underneath where the tag with the size is. And you're going to have the hard plastic shell facing out. You're going to stick it into the back, there's a slot for it. And you got to push it all the way in there so that it's fully contained. And you might have to actually stick your hand in there and flatten it back out. Okay? But you don't want any part of it sticking out like that. It's just going to come out during the game. You need it inside, tucked around, and flattened back out. Okay? Next, you get the hip pads. They're going to go in. There's no left or right. It doesn't matter as long as you get the hard plastic side facing out. So again, on the sides, there's open slots. You can see by the stitching that that's the shape that matches this shape, and in it goes. So you find the slot opening. Push it in. These ones are gonna stick out a little bit because there's no top lid for it, like the tail pad, which seems to want to sneak out right now. And push that back in. Tuck it into its top pocket. And so see tail pads back in. And I've got just the top part of the tail of the hip pad sticking out. This part right here, you can see there's a line. That's gonna stick out. Everything on this curved part is gonna be covered. Sometimes it helps to squeeze it a little bit this way to make it thin to get it into the top. But then stick your hand in there and flatten it out so it's not curled up poking your young athlete in his side while he's trying to play football or learn football in practice. Okay, so there we go. That's the basic girdle setup. I've got my tail pad in here, hard plastic shell side facing out. I've got my hip pads in, hard plastic shell side facing out. And then we get to where we have an option. You can take the thigh pads and you can put them into the girdle where there's a slot or you can put them into the bottom of the pant leg where there's also a slot. I prefer to put them in the girdles. Some guys prefer to put them into the pants. If you're going to put them in the girdle, it's just like what we've already done. So you reach down, there's a slot to put them in. You're going to want the curved side facing out and you just push it in and it does take some work to push it in there. It doesn't just hold in because it's nice and tight, that's what holds it in place. So you, you can't just uh, leave it sticking out, you have to make sure it's nice and in there. And then same on the other side, you do, but if you wanted to put them in the pants instead, I'll show you on the other side how to do it with the pants. So, if you look at your pants, from the top, there's going to be slots here, and there's going to be slots here, okay? These are for the thigh pads, or uh, these are for the thigh pads, these are for the knee pads. Top ones are for the thigh pads. So, right under the belt, there's going to be this uh, mesh slot. You're going to stick the pad in here like this. And you're going to push it in, push it in, push it in. You want to make sure it's not sticking out like that. Okay, that's no good. It's going to come out during practice or it's going to be uncomfortable for your athlete. You want to push it all the way in there like this. See? So, only... A uh, little bit sticking out, but it's fully seated right all the way down to the bottom. 
And then you do the same thing on the other side if that's where you chose to wear your thigh pads. You can also wear the thigh pads in the girdle. That's your option. Knee pads are the last and they're sometimes the trickiest. You can only put them in the, uh, in the pants. You can't put them in the girdle. There's no slot for them. The knee pads actually have a little wedge shape to them like this. So it's tempting to want to slide them down like that because the wedge is going to fit in easier. But in fact, they're meant to match your kneecap so they fit in this way. So the fat side is going to go pointed down. So if you go in from the top of the pants, don't go into the first mesh pocket, go all the way down here to the second mesh pocket, which I will turn inside out so you can see. There's a second mesh pocket down here and it's got an opening and that's where your pad's going to go, fat side pointed down. So I'm going to squeeze it just like I did with the hip pad. I'm going to slide it down in there, find the opening and I'm going to push it in all the way, all the way, all the way. And then I have to flatten it out with my hand to make sure it's nice and in there. And I'll flip this inside out again so you guys can see how that's seated. I'm going to pull it out like this. And there it is. Okay, push it all the way down to the bottom edge, and only the top part is sticking out. Put my hands in there to flatten it out. It really is an involved process. It's not something you can just slap together. So you want to spend some time to teach your young athlete to be able to do it for themselves, and you're going to save yourself a lot of time and uh, effort. This one, same thing. In it goes. Find that edge. And I've still got it folded in half and I'm pushing it in. Stick my hand in there, flatten it out. Bingo, bango, bongo. There it is. So, then all you have to do is you lace your belt in. You basically want to have the clip sticking out the front and you just go in one pocket or in one hole out the next, in one out the next, all the way through until you're wrapped up. Your athlete's gonna put the girdle, now fully filled with his pads, on over top of his underwear. Then he's gonna put his pants, fully filled with pads, now over top of his girdle. That's it.